why they moved is funny. Morning, guys. Hey, boo. How's it going? I think one of the dogs has been sick. How are you feeling this morning, Carrie? How are you feeling this morning? <laughs> Not hungry, I was just tired because it was too hot to sleep. Oh yeah. Crazy heat wave in the old Britannia at the moment. What's great about the, the nights, the sort of how well, you know, the days that happened yesterday was we were just like on a whim mostly. We just we said, oh, you know, we should have a barbecue later. You know, and it's great when everyone everyone's in that same sort of... One second. And it's great when everyone's in that same sort of mindset and has the same idea like all at the same time and, and then everyone just acts on that. I think that's great. But they always turn out to be like the best nights I find. Like the original plan was for just Carrie and Mark to just come over and just hang out and then it was like next thing you know we've bought a little pool and we're out like just barbecues going and just random. They're the best nights, they're the moments you sort of like cherish and like remember back in a couple of years' time, like, oh do you remember when we did that? Random party. It was oh yeah, that was pretty cool. They're the best moments. Old being in. They are. Who's that in there? Is that the internet? You're gonna get him. You're gonna get him. Ah! Such a weirdo. <laughs> Um, hello? Hey, Dad. You had a wolf I love having loads of dogs about. Look at my hair. You're weird on this morning, aren't you? Baby, wait. Baby, oh, I'm a good dog! Oh, hello, baby. Morning. Morning. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm a good dog. As long as I can remember, I've always had a weird obsession with the green men. Like, I've got them just randomly placed around the garden. There's one up there. So here's one. I don't know where this obsession came from. That's why I actually have one tattooed on my arm as well. Which is actually the one that's up on top of that wall. There's one here, hidden in the garden as well. I don't know where it's come from, but... Well, I know where that one's come from. There's um, a chap selling one on the market in um, the local town. Of, um, like a little market festival thing they put on and he said the the mole came all the way from Transylvania or something Pennsylvania I don't know <laughs> up there you can see that one's John Brown and I think since seeing him that's where the obsession came from and then I ended up taking a couple of pictures of him then buying him and then getting um, a lad in the city of Lincoln to tattoo him on for me um, proper legend his, na his name is uh, Patrick Blakey of um, Gilded Quill. So you guys will have to go check him out on Instagram. I'll probably try and leave some links in the description below as well for that. Family walking. Yeah. See dog and Mark still here. Taking little doggies out for a walky walk. Breathe it in. Or you can't. I just feel so nice to walk barefoot. It's like a natural foot massage. But I can't have normal massages on my feet because I have the tickliest feet. Probably shouldn't say that in a video, <laughs> but I really do. It's really quite bad. I even tickle myself putting socks on. <laughs> the grass is like slightly wet as well, which is just really lovely because it's so friggin' bacon. Crikey! It's a wild tit just up the river. Let's have a look, shall we? 
Okay, look at the size of that one. Got you, little ripper. Have a little go. I was saying yesterday whilst we was having the barbecue and you know you all do it, everybody does it I bet people was walking past going oh, someone's having a barbecue everybody does that you know you do it, oh we've got to have a barbie when we get in usually it doesn't happen <laughs> want to climb it oh, it looks amazing it's so big, it's like bigger than the houses and there are houses over there, it's like huge I know I said I was drinking last night. Oh yeah, I also want to state as well. There were, I know there was a video yesterday of um, Francesca in the pool and there was the can of Strombo in there. Do not worry, we're not irresponsible parents. And she did not even sniff the can. <laughs> God, that seems to have this weird effect on me. Well, I know it does on everyone, but I mean, um, in the sense of, I believe that the sugars that are in it, once they've worn off or started to wear off um, whilst I'm sleeping, and my body sort of, I think it's its way of telling me that I need more sugar or I need something else in my system. Because I always wake up stupidly early in the morning. Like, today, I just naturally woke up at about six, six in the morning. Just like, ping, awake. I was like, oh, great. <laughs> and then, like, the thing is, I went to bed probably about like 12, editing a vlog and stuff. But I, I'm there, I've always been able to sort of survive on no sleep. And according to my mother, she said, when I was a kid, I would run everywhere and just always be active and doing stuff like crazy. And then all of a sudden, I just drop to sleep, just like, Poof. and she said, and it would be like out cold, completely out cold for like 20 minutes. And then I'd be up, gone and ready to do it all over again. <laughs> but I've always been the same. Um, like a couple, like three or four years, four years ago, when I first started college, I was in most days, probably almost like five days a week and to get to my college was a two hour bus drive there and then to get home was a two hour bus drive back but as you know like with education um, college would start at nine o'clock on the dot so I had to be, my first alarm went off about half five in the morning to wake me up because it takes me forever to wake up as I've said before in the vlogs so my first alarm would go off and then I'd have about three or four going after that to get me up and out and to the bus stop which was like, I don't know, half mile walk or something like that just to catch the bus for seven o'clock <sighs> to get to college for nine but most of the time I end up sleeping on the bus on against the window <laughs> and like some days, like on a Tuesday night when I was in my old ska band um, I would come home after doing like a half day at college so after being up stupid early in the morning and stuff I'd come back and then I'd have to go to band practice <laughs> Leave me alone! Alright, and then I'd come back to band practice until about 10 o'clock at night or something stupid That officially sounds horrible <laughs> Those um, like toilet things you could get, and it sounds really weird um, As a kid you used to be able to get them It was like a little putty thing but it was about, I don't know, really small, about the size of my, about the size of your hand. And had that put in, if you squidged it, it like, <laughs> reminds me of that. Are you, are you sitting up? Are you sitting, are you going to go? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Almost. Oh, I'm just crying. Well, she'll probably do that for a while, and they like oh, rocks yeah. back and forwards. Well done, it's your first day, you did that. Yay! That's exciting. <laughs> oh, no. Lovely time with um, Mark and Carrie when they came down. Um, I didn't get a chance to say yesterday um, because my brother was away at a gig doing a charity event for um, the big floods that happened um, not too long ago. So he, he was like, one of the main events on. So I'm really proud of him for doing that and all the guys as well. So I just wanted to say happy birthday to my brother for yesterday. Sorry I didn't get a chance to talk to you. But yeah, hope you had a good one mate. Really nice just having everyone over. And now everyone's sort of left, we know. 
I've got this really lovely relaxed like Sunday feeling as it is just to chill out now it's nice being able to walk into town and not just be like you know beeline into the shop just like go 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 when just taking a nice leisurely dad walk <laughs> Just decided to have a little wander around one of the charity shops that's near us, like the vintage shops. Michael Jackson's jacket. <laughs> Loads of stuff in here. It's so quiet. Just found this awesome shirt. Do you want me to do it? So guys, we've come to a, an end of another <laughs> vlog. I can't do it, words. We've come to an end of another vlog today. Um, thanks for watching, I hope you guys have really enjoyed it. Um, we've been the Spicy Fam. I'm the Spicy Nacho. She's the Nacho Queen. This is Beanie Ween getting ready for bath time. Who's that? It's the people you was attacking earlier at the start of the vlog. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> so make sure you subscribe on that little button down there. Thumbs up as well if you've liked this video. <laughs> it's bad. So yes, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers. Oh, oh sh gotta catch 'em all, the beanie ween.